Hey guys, this is Squally Pillow, and, and I just want to test out the newest uh, option from NordVPN NordLinks, which is using WireGuard instead of OpenVPN as the VPN protocol. And they say it's uh, 4,000 lines of code as compared to 400,000, and, and so it should be faster. So we're going to run a few speed tests here uh, and just, just see if that's true. So first of all, just going to show you here NordVPN. We are currently, uh, status does not exist status we are not connected at the moment all right so we're going to just uh, go to the speed test here uh, we're going to run a speed test without the vpn connected and, and see what we get there so ping of 20 so pretty low ping on that one decent ping uh, download yeah should be in the 300s which it is that's what we would expect that's our uh, download speed that we're paying for and upload should be in in the 15s um yeah 15 and 15 and a half is what i would expect to ping a 20 download of 328 and an upload of uh, ended up at being at 16. so that, that's what we're getting without the vpn and there's a pretty you know isn't really a, a real life test but I was kind of curious to see if it, if it did make any difference so now we're going to connect uh first of all though we're going to make sure just to to show you that we uh, I have installed WireGuard but I haven't tried it yet I'll show you here we are still on uh, can't spell uh, no, gee. we are still set to open VPN there it's already set to open VPN so now we're going to just uh, connect and uh, we'll see what server we connect to so we're gonna try to reconnect to 462 under NordLinks um, I'm not sure if every server does have NordLinks enabled, so that might be an issue. We'll see. Uh, so 462 though. So now we're going to come back here. We're going to run this test again and see where we get. So ping was 20, so 21. So negligible impact on ping. Uh, download speed in the 80s. That's kind of what I experienced with Nord. It's actually improved uh, quite a bit over the last few months. Since they got rid of that, their, their free trials, I've seen the speed increase quite a bit. Uh, and I would expect uploads to be uh, about the same. It might be a little lower, but I would expect it to be in the 15s as well. Uh, it's actually hovering in the 14s. It's a little lower than I expected. I thought it would get, uh, it's peaking in the 15s now. Uh, so you have 15.28, so, so a little bit of an impact, but, you know, negligible. So we're going to go back now. We're going to... Um, Probably have to disconnect first, but let's see if we can change te change technologies without without disconnecting. So we're going to set technology, uh, and I think it's capitalized like that. Technology is successfully set to NordLinks. You are connected to NordVPN. Please reconnect to enable the settings. Okay, so that's cool. Um, we're going to connect to. It might tell me I'm already connected. I, have to, I probably have to disconnect first, but let's see. Yeah, we're already connected. So NordVPN disconnect, and we're gonna connect. Okay, so we couldn't connect to Canadian 462. So I don't know if that is a, just an issue that maybe, maybe they don't have the same technologies running on different servers. That is a, that's certainly a possibility and would make sense. So quite a big difference in ping 119 downloads they peak pretty high they start to look good then it kind of starts to slow down so it's not a sustained speed it's got a good peak transfer but a higher peak transfer but the sustained speed is, is certainly lower and uploads are, are looking significantly like half uh, almost oh well they're a little better they're starting to climb okay 10 so there's climbing a little bit but uh, certainly a bigger impact on uploads um, so that's interesting, interesting, interesting. So I'm thinking that we probably cannot connect to the same server. Um, I'm thinking it's probably, uh, yeah, probably different servers that run on different, uh, run on different protocols. That would make sense. But let's just try if we go back to OpenVPN. Uh, God, I cannot spell technology today. Technology, keep forgetting that O. Um, and then go NordVPN, connect to, we were on CA751. Oh, okay, we're going to connect to CA751 on, on 
on OpenVPN. So that's good. So we're now on the same server. We were on 751 with Nordlinks, and we're now on OpenVPN, and we're on 751. So we're on the same server now. So 119.78.11.8, that would be what we're looking at. So let's see. Go out, curse shoot. Sorry, hide bash there. So 109. So ping about the same. Um, wow. 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 Download though. So that is crazy. So on OpenVPN, we got a download rate of 10. And on Nordlings, we were in the 80s, which would more was what we would expect. That is crazy. And the ping, I'm not 100% sure where uh, server the server is. It might be in Toronto or Montreal, this one, which would, would explain the ping. Uh, let's actually check. Let's change server. Server's closest. It's close to you. Uh... Calgary Edmonton is there? I don't didn't don't think there is servers in Calgary or Edmonton. Is there? Let's find. Let's see. It's finding an optimal server. Okay, Toronto. So we were in a Toronto server. So let's run this. That'll probably make the ping a little better because we're not going from, you know, Toronto to Montreal or so Toronto to Vancouver. So yeah, 52. Download speed is looking better. 20 in the 20s but not sustaining it. Yeah, like download speed is going to be in the 17s, 18s here, it looks like. And upload 12. Can we hit 13? Might even be able to hit 14. So upload's not bad. Upload is, is comparable to the, what the other server was on, on Open and Nordlinks. So not terrible, but... Yeah, 52, 16, 43, and 14, 66. Not quite what I would have expected. So that was on OpenVPN. So let's let's try just one more time just to see, make sure it wasn't a fluke. We're going to set technology to a Nord links. Oh my goodness, I forgot that O again. Oh, that was, that was good. There we go. Uh, we're we're connect, disconnect. And then we'll connect to CA751. Uh, now we're connecting under Nordlinks, which is good. We're going to go back. So we're looking at 52 ping, 16 down, 14 up. And let's see if this one is as big a difference as it was last time. So ping a little slower. Okay, download speed though significantly higher. So wow, in the hunt, that's the highest download speed we've seen all day. That is spectacular. So there might actually be something to this Nordlinks being faster. Like, wow, that is crazy. Um, again, we don't know for sure we're on the same server. Like it might be two servers in the same place that have just have the same number, one OpenVPN, one Nordlinks. That, that would make sense. But it's as close as we can get. And, and we are seeing significant improvements with, with OpenLinks on this server. And the other server we tested, it was about equal. So... Yeah, all in all, it looks like this Nordlinks might have something to it, and, and it's something I'll, I'll continue to work. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to leave it set to Nordlinks for a while and just uh, daily use and see how it goes. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll uh, see you later.